Do you really know God? And beloved, you have to know God. You must know God for yourself and you cannot be satisfied with someone else's relationship with God and expect that their relationship with God will suffice for your relationship. You have to know God for yourself and you have to know God experimentally. But what is required for us to know God? What do we have to do that we may be able to know him? In Jeremiah chapter 29 verse 13, God says, And ye shall seek me and find me when ye shall search for me with all your heart. So if you want to know God today, if you desire to come into a deeper connected relationship with God, it must mean that you have to treat it with a sense of urgency and a sense of importance and seek for God and search for God with all of of your heart. God desires to reveal himself to you and the devil desires to block this revelation of Jesus Christ to you. So if you desire to know, if you desire to receive from God the, the, the revelation of himself to you, beloved, it is something that you're going to have to fight for. It is something that you're going to have to seek for, to search for, and when you search for it, you search for it with all of your heart. So set your mind right now. Set your mind this instant that nothing will separate you from the love of God. Nothing will separate you or stop you, block you or deter you from entering into a covenant relationship with God and knowing God for yourself. And what we must understand is that God wants us to prove him. God wants us to know him for ourselves and prove for ourselves in our lives that he is God. And this is why in Malachi chapter 3 verse 10 it says, God asks us to prove him now herewith. So God wants us to prove for our own selves that he is God in our life and he is God over life. God wants us to know for ourselves that he is God. And so we must understand that knowing God will require us to be drawn out of ourselves, drawn out of our comfort zone. And, and, and when we are drawn out of our comfort zone, we have to seek after God as for head treasures. Because knowing God requires us to search for him and to seek for him with all of our heart, all of our soul until we find him beloved to know God means that you know him not theoretically you know him not simply because someone tells you about him you know him not simply because someone else has a testimony about him you know him because you have experienced him and his power in your life that you have had a relationship with him and you have tested him and tasted him and have seen that the Lord is good. So knowing God is equal to you searching for him, connecting with him and experiencing his presence and power in your life and testing him and knowing that this is how God works. This is how God operates. This is what he does and this is what I can expect from him. God wants you to know him, beloved. In Proverbs chapter 2, beginning from verse 1 onwards to 9, it says, My son, if thou wilt receive my words and hide my commandments with thee, so that thou incline thine ear unto wisdom and apply thine heart to understanding, and it requires effort on our part. Knowing God requires effort on our part. God has done his part in order for God to know us. He searched for us, 
He experienced what it meant to be human. He connected with our humanity being human himself and he sacrificed his life to save us. So on God's part, he exerted tremendous effort to know us. And beloved, we have to exert likewise tremendous effort to know God. And we will not know God but without our own effort. We don't have to exert effort in order to to, to have the gift of salvation. But that gift of salvation was granted to us through God making an effort to give it to us by searching for us, identifying with us, connecting uh, to us and sacrificing his life for us. So now when it comes to knowing God, we must exert effort effort so my son if thou wilt receive my words and hide my commandments with thee so that thou incline thine ear unto wisdom and applying thine heart to understanding yea if thou Christ after knowledge sister if thou Christ after knowledge brother and liftest up thy voice for understanding if thou seekest her as silver and searchest for her as for head treasures then then beloved then shalt thou understand the fear of the Lord and find the knowledge of God. So when do we understand the fear of the Lord and find the knowledge of God? After we have searched after we have sought for him, after we have shed bitter tears to know God, after we have cried and prayed and fasted to know him and not be satisfied with a simple pedestrian understanding and casual relationship with God, we have to search. In order to be a doctor, you have to study. In order to be a lawyer, you have to study. In order to be an engineer, you have to study. You have to learn you have to go through an experience in order to do anything you have to go through an experience of learning and of understanding how much more important for eternal life how much more important for a real knowledge of God that you can know for yourself that God is God and that God is love beloved so knowing God requires you to search for him to seek for him it requires effort make that effort today that you may know him for yourself this is the word of life with Andre Knight